what's up Sailor Guardians and welcome to part two of my Japan haul from when I went to Japan in October. I decided to split this up into two separate episodes, one being all about the Sailor Moon items which pretty much filled up my entire checked baggage. Part two is all about the other anime items that I had collected. So that includes different genres like Pokemon, Ghibli, etc, etc. So if you are interested in any of those other animes then stay tuned so you can see what kind of cool merch you can only find exclusively in Japan. I just piled all these goodies into one big bag so I'm just gonna pull everything out one by one and show you what I got. I have a bit of a story about this item. It's probably the most useful purchase that I made in Japan when I was there in October. This is a lumbar support pillow but it has Totoro on it. So I picked this up at the Ghibli store and I'm so obsessed. It is so soft. It's like memory foam on the inside of it. And I cannot wait to put this thing in my computer room, my editing suite downstairs. I feel like I'm gonna use this thing every single day. In fact, I, I had my back against this when I was in the plane heading back home from Japan and oh my god it was so comfortable. It was hard to bring this thing home but I'm super happy that I was able to purchase one and take it home with me. Next is this absolutely adorable scarf that I also picked up at one of the Ghibli stores. This one also features Totoro as you can see here and it is two-sided so you can flip it back and forth. I just love the natural green color. I love the fringe at the end and it has buttons. Where are the buttons? There we go. There's the cat bus on here as well. And then we have these nice little natural looking buttons on the scarf as well. So this is big. It's very thick and very warm. The Ghibli store we went in in Osaka had a whole bunch of different scarves that you could choose from. So this was the one that I chose to get. My friend was kind of eyeing the Howl's Moving Castle one. If I had the room, I totally would have gotten like each of the different movies scarves because they were all so nice and warm and comfy and soft. I actually found one of these for sale in one of the stores in Nakano Broadway and it was kind of packaged with all the other figures. I just wanted lunch. She's my favorite character. She's the only one that I collect from Dragon Ball. So I ended up finding her online, but discovered her in Japan. So this is called a treasure rally figure. Uh, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball, this character lunch, she sneezes and turns into a completely different personality. I love this character so much. I really enjoy every time she's on camera. She's hilarious. She is also one of my cosplay characters with her purple haired version. So here's the treasure rally character. She's so adorable. I love that she has her little like AK-47 and her cute little bow in her hair. Definitely a figure I can add to my collection of Dragon Ball lunch figures. This is Mofusan, Mofusan, something like that. Anyway, I love this cat. I discovered this kitty on Instagram uh, many, many a year ago and also discovered that there is a store in the Tokyo train station, the main train station, that just features this character. So I got this kitty cat in his train station uniform, which is exclusive to the Tokyo train station. He is so freaking cute. I love that he has a little whistle and it has a little paw print on it. Oh my God, Mufusan, so adorable. And then I found this very cute little keychain of him dressed up or her dressed up as a Tanuki. And it's a little zippered outfit, but she is sewn in there. So you cannot remove the character from this. But look at the little Tanuki face, it's so cute. And I love her little face, so adorable and the little tail. I couldn't stop myself. I'm really obsessed with this character. There's the logo, Mufusan. This store was very popular in the train station. So it was kind of a struggle to get through there and be able to purchase things just because there were so many people in the store. I also picked up a couple of pairs of socks. So these are Princess Mononoke socks. They're very nice, very plush socks. There are a couple of different sizes. So if you do find yourself at the Ghibli store, make sure to look at the sizes on the logo. But these are great for winter time. Like they're very well made. The embroidery of the god, the forest god, is so cool. And I cannot wait to wear these here in our Colorado winter holiday season. I also picked up these from the Mofusan store. We have the kitty in the Starbucks cup, like the Frappuccino cup. Couldn't help myself, adorable. I also found this one of him dressed up as a panda. Very, very cute socks. I don't know what it is about Japan and like adorable socks, but they know how to make socks with characters on them. 
very well. They're so cute. I love purchasing socks in Japan. It's weird, I know. A bit of a life hack. If you go to Japan, get a lot of souvenirs and a lot of those things come in these boxes, just take the box apart or like fold it down and then pack your character separately because there's so much empty space or negative space inside these boxes when they come from retail that you can really save a ton of space in your luggage by just unfolding these boxes and keeping them and just using them as like packaging material or structure against the edges of your suitcase. So I ended up finding this other lunch figure at Mandrake in Osaka. So this is another one I wanted to add to my collection. Here we have her on her insanely cool unicycle, unitrike bike, bicycle thing. I love that we have the clouds at the back of the wheel and there's so much motion going into her hair. It's such a cool little figure that I just really wanted to add this one to my collection as well. I love that she has money flying out of the bag too. Like you can tell that she just like robbed a bank. <laughs> So funny. I ended up picking up another Mofusan plushie. This one's also a keychain, but it I think it does something. So what does this do? So obviously this is the kitty cat dressed up as an orca with a little seal in their hand. Oh, what does it do? <gasps> What's the point of that? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, so this is a Mofusan that vibrates. All right, now I know. This card case from the Mofusan store, also from the Tokyo Station one, uh, this has a little acrylic at the end of it with the kitty cat on a macaroon. And then we have a bunch of kitty cats with macaroons on the front of it. Very cute. I love that it comes with a matching carabiner. So you can use this on your backpack or wherever you need to put it. Uh, these are pretty common in Japan just because you use your IC cards so often in Japan to get in and out of train stations at 7-Eleven. So it's very common to find little card holders like this that you can just easily access so you can run through those train stations pretty quickly. This little kitty cat was in a blind box with a bunch of different really cute little characters. I love that I got the one dressed as a bunny with the carrot. I feel like this would be a very nice little springtime decoration that I could set out. I also picked up a bunch of smaller items like these were freebie stickers that I got at a couple of different stores. This is a band-aid of all things. Very, very odd, but what a cute little freebie. This Hello Kitty from Hakone was just too cute for words. And I love that it kind of accentuates what Hakone is known for, which is this like inlaid wood pattern that you can pick up in a bunch of different decor pieces up there in Hakone. Again, we have the Mofusan store. I love these stickers. They're just so adorable. A bunch of little sharky kitty cats. And I got these for myself and one of my besties who also loves cats just as much as I do. These are nice little fabric stickers. The Ghibli store had a bunch of series of blind bags. Uh, I really like Spirited Away, so I ended up getting these ones. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we got the little chicky in the background and this funny big guy that we see at the parade in the movie. Ooh, Haku, that's cool. That's a really nice one. I like that one a lot. Oh, oh, how do you, how do you say your name again? Here we have one of the old witch, Yubaba. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Did I get her name right? Did I just pull that out of my memory somewhere? And oh, so cute. The little baby turned into a mouse. Or is it a hamster? I don't remember. <laughs> He's so cute. Those are adorable. And I love that they're embroidered. Like they're made out of fabric. That's really nice. I would have liked to get No Face, uh, Chihiro, and Haku as a dragon. Oh, and the suit sprites. Oh, pretty much all the ones that I didn't get are ones that I would have liked to get. So the suit sprites, that one with no face. No face is my favorite. And then Haku as a dragon. So I got the four that I didn't really want, but that's okay, they're really cute. So speaking of blind bags, the Ghibli stores had these little squares which were boxed up inside this really beautiful paper. So I kept the paper for each of the ones that I decided to purchase. I got a few different colors and these are actually just teeny tiny little Totoro's. So I ended up getting three different colors. So we have this beautiful like rose gold quartz version. We have this opalescent one and this one that's a bit more of a clear opalescent color. 
These are so pretty and I think I'm gonna put these like, I'm gonna sit them on a plant or something so that you can easily see them and they kind of stand out against the dirt and the greenery. I think that'll be really cute. They're so cute. I love these little blind bags. And in case you're wondering how many different colors you could get, here's all the different ones that you could get. There's eight different types. I really like that tiger's eye one. So maybe next time I go back there, I'll have to find one and get a tiger's eye. They're cute. The Gashapons, I hit up so many Gashapons. These ones knocked it out of the park. I love these. I got one of the Master Sword and one of a cute little Link. So adorable. I'm a big fan of Legend of Zelda. So being able to find cute little character items like these, I'm always about it. I didn't end up going to the Nintendo store this year. So this let me, get a little bit of Nintendo in during my trip. I'm always looking for useful items and I found this at the Ghibli store as well. This is a metal uh, Totoro carabiner. So it seems pretty sturdy and I really like how nicely it's built. This carabiner also came with a little keychain so you can lock it on here. Make sure you don't lose your cute carabiner. So I love this. I think it's really cool and I really like how how nicely it's built. It's just a high quality item. These are a series of really pretty pins. I love collecting pins, of course. So these were all from the Ghibli store as well. We have Totoro here. We have the little baby Totoro. And we also have this beautiful Om, Omu. This is the really giant bugs from Nausicaa Valley of the Wind, which is one of my favorite Ghibli movies. I'm obsessed with that movie and I love kind of the ecological uh, storyline that takes place in that movie. It's just so good. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend. It's not one of the super popular ones, but Nausicaa is amazing. And they had this gorgeous pen, so I had to get it. I love the sparkly eyes. I thought that was really, really cool. And speaking of Nausicaa, they also had figures. So these figures have a little bit of movement to them, which I thought was Fascinating. I just love it so much and they look so good. I love that the eyes are somewhat transparent so you can kind of see through them and it does look like they're glowing and just having like a little mini um is so cool. I don't know what it is about Nausicaa but it really stuck with me when I first saw it and it's continuously been one of my favorites. So being able to have this cute little ohm, like as soon as I saw it at the store I was like I have to have that. They also had versions of the ohm with red eyes too. So I considered getting both of them, but I was like, well, I'll get the green one. I like the peaceful one. We just so happened to stay super close to the Square Enix Cafe in Akihabara. So I stopped in there one day with my friend and I found this very cute little chocobo. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna get it. This chocobo is knitted and he's just so adorable and so cute and so plushy. And I don't really have a lot of like Final Fantasy character items. I really don't have any. I just have like the games. So it's nice to own something that's directly from the Square Enix Cafe. And it's a chocobo, so it's really adorable. She's so cute. One of the adventures that we had in Japan was going to the Gundam in Yokohama. So I don't know why, but I kept the napkins from the Gundam Cafe, even though the cafe was very underwhelming. I really like the logo art. I love the giant Gundam with the backdrop of Yokohama's like city skyline. I thought that was really cool. And I happened to pick up from the Gundam factory in Yokohama. This was the only Gundam I picked up. Okay, so, okay, so I love the bag. I thought the bag was really cool, so I kept it. So when you go to see the Gundam in Yokohama, it's huge. It's a gigantic Gundam and just seeing it in real life is awe inspiring. It's intense, but they had this little chibi version of the Gundam set up in his factory setting and I thought he was so adorable. So both me and my bestie got one of these little chibi Gundams. I also picked up just a couple of Gundam factory stickers. These are both like vinyl stickers, just something really cool to keep from the Gundam factory. I love going in the gift shops, so I picked these up. When we were there, it was so funny because so many people were running around the gift shop purchasing the big Gundams, which I've built a few in my day, but I just don't have time for those anymore. So I got the little baby one because I figured that wouldn't take long to put together. I just got a couple of other small items from, I think all of these were the Ghibli store as well. This is for your tissues. It's just a little box for a regular box of tissues. And I thought it was super cute and much cuter than the tissues that I have in my household. So 
I had to get it. I love this adorable little side pouch. This is like a crossbody bag. It does have a zipper compartment on the back, and there's also a couple of little loops for you to tie on this very, very soft strap, which is adjustable. And this is just a little baby Toto. He's so cute and it's an eat bag. So I could put like a pin in here. It's got a little window compartment. So I could put like cute little things in here. I could, I would probably put like a piece of fabric in here and then stick a pin on it. So you can see a pin in his mouth, but I thought it was cute. I just couldn't help myself. It's so adorable and it's so soft and kind of plush. Just a cute little crossbody bag for days that I don't want to carry a giant purse. It kind of looks like he's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and last, but most definitely not least, is this adorable, adorable lamp. This was also from the Ghibli store. Of course, it is a little miniature Totoro. We have an on off button back here, as well as a brightness setting. It is USB-C, which I love. And I was looking for that in any kind of accessories that I was purchasing while I was in Japan. It comes with this cute little leaf, which you set inside of it here. So the little leafy gets plugged into your USB lamp like so. I really hope this thing works. I didn't get a chance to test it while I was uh, in Japan. So we're gonna find out together. I'm so happy he works. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, he gets bright. <sighs> okay, so this thing definitely attracts dog hair and cat hair like no other. It has three settings. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I can't wait to set this thing up in my studio. This is so cute. I know exactly where I'm gonna put this too. He's so cute. I'm so happy I was able to get one of these. So I believe that it is rechargeable because it is by USB-C. It's showing a little red LED on the back of it right now via my USB-C. So that probably means that it's charging, but I'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's got a battery in there, but if not, I'll just leave it plugged in because that is cute. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. He's cute, he's so adorable. This last item is definitely like not anime, but it's anime inspired, like 100%. Check out these ears. These are so cyberpunk. I love them so much. I actually got these. If you're going to the Sailor Moon store in Tokyo, hit up the store that's like right around the corner on the same floor. They have a whole bunch of these that are made by a local creator in Japan. So they have a website and you can order from their website if they don't have like this style in stock and you wanna get a specific style, but these are handmade and they are very, very limited. They are made by like a local artist and I just love being able to not only support an artist in Japan, but also get something that's so adorable and so unique. They're very lightweight and they are made out of acrylic. So there's a bunch of different colors. They have a whole bunch of different styles, not just cat ears, but there's like dragon ears, there's dragon horns, there's panda ears. I tried some of those on while I was there. Bunch of different styles. So you have a lot of different options, but I wanted to get these ones because I thought they looked so cool. I would love to wear these to like an anime convention or one of the hacker cons that I go to for my job. I'll show you these up close too, so you can kind of see how unique they are. Like, look how cyberpunk they are. They're so cool. This looks like something that I could easily wear to Meow Wolf here in here in Colorado. There's a little carabiner on it. And it also comes equipped with this string that you can string around your head in order for them to not fall off anywhere. Because, you know, these are handmade. They got zip ties tying them onto the band. So you definitely wanna be careful with them. They are somewhat fragile, but so, so pretty, so cute. And I love this like Aurora Borealis type style. Definitely wanted to include these in my roundup for today since these are so unique and something that you can only find in Japan. So that is everything for my non Sailor Moon roundup of items that I got from Japan. What was your favorite? Are you a big fan of any of these different uh, merchandise brands, whether that's Dragon Ball or Final Fantasy or Ghibli or Mofusan? Let me know down below. I would love to know your thoughts. If you want to see more of these type of collections that aren't necessarily Sailor Moon, let me know that as well. Definitely subscribe if you are interested in Sailor Moon or Japanese culture items like these. I love anime culture. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I don't think I'm ever going to age out of that interest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Jane.